Ever heard of a sport called cricket? Cricket may not be well known in some countries, but for others, it's a pretty big deal. So big, in fact, that some of the best cricket players have paychecks that would really blow your mind. You may not know them, but you might just consider consulting them before your next career change. Just make sure you move to the right country, too. So what is cricket? The sport may seem a bit complicated for first-time watchers, so I'm going to try to explain it as simply as possible. It could probably be compared to baseball, but there are quite a few differences. Two teams of 11 players each take turns to bat and bowl. Let's call them Team A and Team B. I know it's not that inventive, but bear with me. In this case, bowling is kind of like pitching. Someone who throws a ball really hard at the person with the bat. The batting team, Team A, has two people at each end of the cricket pitch. A rectangular piece of hard glass in the middle of a grass field. Team B has a bowler that throws the ball to one of the batters and a wicket keeper behind the batter. His job is to try to catch out the batter by catching the ball after it is touched by the bat. Similar to a strikeout, but it only has to happen once. The rest of Team B are fielders that also try to catch the batter or throw the ball to the wicket. Little wooden thingies that need to be knocked down if the batter is on the wrong side of the line. If the ball is hit far enough, the two batters of Team A have to run and basically switch places. If they make it safely over the line without their wicket being hit by the ball, they have one run. Runs are the points that Team A build up, and Team B has to beat when it's their turn to bat. If they hit the ball far enough, they can get more points without actually having to run. There are a few more nitty-gritty details, but that's about the gist of it. Pretty simple, right? So, can their salaries really be so astronomical that it's worth me telling you more about it? Yes, yes they are. You see, the average cricketer's salary varies in each country, and this is causing some dispute. In Australia, for example, international male players would have started off with around $270,000 per year in 2018. So, if that's the starting salary, what do the MVPs get? In Australia, there is quite a gap between the top players and those who still have to prove themselves. The salary for top-tier players peaks at close to $1.4 million. This is thanks to the agreement that players get to share 30% of the money that the sport brings in for the country. That's really generous. But keep in mind that these players are all getting other forms of endorsements as well, which makes that yearly salary only a chunk of the actual money they see in their bank account. Some of the other top cricketing countries have a middle tier to bridge the gap between the newbies and the superstars. England cricketers, who started out in 2017, received a salary of about $265,000 per year, with the middle tier players pocketing close to $600,000 and the high rollers earning just under $1 million. See how it pays to live in the right country? But like I said, this is purely the salary and not the total income. So still, not a bad career choice. Let's take a look at a few more heavyweight countries when it comes to international cricket. First off is India. Here, the salaries of players are also divided into three tiers, grade A, B, and C. Based on the value of each player, they sign individual contracts, with grade A being the highest at approximately $150,000 and grade C earning $46,500. However, if a player shows some outstanding qualities in regards to their cricketing abilities, they can earn over $300,000 every year. New Zealand and West Indies cricket teams' top players earned around $140,000 per year, and Sri Lanka comes in at seventh place with their key players receiving around $120,000. I think I understand why there is a bit of a dispute when it comes to earnings. There is quite a huge gap between all tiers when comparing the countries. And unfortunately, not all cricketers can play for one country. That would probably be counterproductive to the growth of the sport. Let's hope the countries can find a way to bridge the gaps a bit. As mentioned before, these players have other means of increasing the balance in their personal bank accounts. Like many other sports, there are a few different competitions each year that don't bind players by country, meaning that they have the option of more than one contract that generates a salary. And of course, there are endorsements to take into consideration. This means that even if their contract has a lower yearly salary than players in other countries, they could still earn more in total if they're really good. And let's just say that most of them are really, really good at what they do. Take a look at some of the top earners in international cricket in 2017. 
the current captain of the Indian cricket team, Virat Kohli, was the only Indian, as well as the only cricket player, that was featured on the Forbes list of the world's highest paid athletes, and earned a mind-blowing $22 million in 2017 alone, give or take. However, when it comes to net worth, former Indians captain M.S. Dhoni still outshines Kohli at a staggering $111 million. But hey, no one knows what the future holds in store. With India holding the first two spots in the highest paid cricketers, West Indies player Chris Gale from Jamaica comes in third, earning around $7.5 million in 2017. Australia and South Africa have players that tie for fourth highest paid in their sport in 2017, David Warner and A.B. De Villiers. If you are thinking of seriously taking up cricket, you should probably know that they do, in fact, work very hard for those big bucks. It'll take a lot of effort and superior skill to even start competing on the levels these guys have already mastered. You see, apart from being some of the highest paid athletes, cricketers have also been labeled among the fittest. Men's Health UK actually has a workout to get cricket fit. Not one I will be attempting anytime soon. I guess money isn't everything. Are you as shocked as I was by some of the facts about this interesting sport? Like the video and share it with a friend. If you have some more facts to share about the salaries in cricket, please sound off in the comments. Subscribe to see even more videos that bring you to the bright side of life. Thanks for watching.